Hi friends, I'm going to look for a moment for you, your comments on whether or not you can hear me. So I've got my laptop over here. I'm gonna see if I can watch me teaching you on my laptop from here to there, we don't know. Anyway, thanks for bearing with me. What is our time? Oh, it's just time. I'm on time, oh, I'm on time, this is awesome. So I'm having a sit on a block in a modified hero pose to start. Just waiting for some of you to join. I know there's lots of people that were planning to come today. So as you do, just say something so I know you're here. And we'll get started in just a moment. It's not going to work because it's not letting me see me see you. <laughs> And that's okay. It doesn't let me know that I'm live. Isn't that funny? Oh well, that's okay. Can you hear me okay from over here? <clears throat> Whoever's online, I can see your little box, but I don't know who you are. Just if you'll type in if you can hear me all right, that would be super helpful. And if not, I will change my map because I want to make sure we don't miss the whole thing. So type in if you can hear me all right from here. If not, I will change the whole thing. Now I'm gonna to walk to the camera <laughs> and see if you can hear me okay. I see some comments coming in. Okay, let's see. Anyone, anyone? Yay, you can hear me. Okay, good. Thank you, Deborah. you're the best. As always, my students come through. So I'm taking a seat on a block to start with my knees together and my feet behind me. You don't have to do that. Sukhasana is perfect. So however you feel comfortable sitting on the floor, because we don't all have props at home to use, so no problem. So come to your comfortable seat, whatever that may be for you. Crisscross applesauce is perfect. And I'm super happy to be here with you guys today because as we're all in this crazy lockdown world right now, it's nice to be able to be in the same space, even in cyberspace. So as I asked a few days ago, uh, if we're in this time of separation, when we're together, it's really helpful to actually look into each other's eyes. So even though we're in cyberspace, take a moment. If you want to even close your eyes and imagine this happening, that's lovely. Or you can keep your eyes open. Look into the camera, look into my eyes, and just be here. Be here now. Connecting with all the beautiful people that are joining us. I'm seeing lots of people logging in. So just know that we're together. We're here now holding space for one another holding space for our mind for our body for our spirit holding space for our good health holding space for our improved immune system because yoga improves your immune system and so we're here supporting each other in this time of separateness. We are all in this together. So if you're, they're not already, go ahead and close your eyes. Sit up nice and tall. Let your hands rest in your lap. And as we feel into the surface beneath us, begin to turn your attention to your breath watching the breath flow in through the nose and out through the nose. Simply resting your hands comfortably on your legs or in your lap. And watch the rise and fall of your breath. This breath centering time is 
our guide through our whole practice. So we center now in the breath to befriend the breath, to become more familiar with how it feels to breathe smoothly, to breathe fully, to breathe deeply. And we imprint that feeling in our body, that process, so that we can take it with us throughout our whole practice. So that we stay together with our breath, And we rely on it to be our guide. So as we practice, if we feel our breath is held or broken, we know to back off from a pose. So I give a lot of cues in every pose to help refine your pose and to help to try to keep you safe. But nothing can keep you more safe than you listening to your breath. in every situation. Not just here on the mat. So let's draw in one breath together. So take a big exhale. And then inhale fully. And we'll exhale together. Chin toward chest. Ease your eyes open, and if you're seated on a block, just remove it. And if you're not already there, come to Sukhasana, crisscross applesauce. We'll inhale our arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Check in with your intention or set it. So your intention is something that flows out of who you are or the direction you want to go in. So it can be one word like peace ease, calm, it could be a few words of affirmation, whatever it is for you. But each time you see your hands come back together in this way, remember your intention. So inhale the arms down to go up. Big stretch, right hand to left knee, left hand behind. Press into those left fingertips and sit tall. So there's no forcing in yoga, and we always want to find the place between easy and ouch. So that's our edge. We, if we go past that edge, we'll cause injury, and then we won't be able to come back to the mat, for a while at least. Or we may at least be very discouraged in coming back to the mat. Bend your right elbow just a little bit to turn a little deeper, and open up some more space across the scapulas. And then on your next exhalation, lift your left arm up and over into a crossbody stretch. You can look down at your right knee or up at your left arm, whichever works for you. Listen to the neck. The neck is the easiest to injure because it's the easiest to move. So on your next inhalation, come up, bring one hand to each knee. Draw your belly button towards your spine, curl your chin in towards your chest. And then press into the hands, lift the heart, roll the shoulders back. Look up, stretching the whole throat. Take a deep breath. Exhale, curl in one more time. Inhale, release the hands, reach them up to the sky. And then left hand to right knee, right hand behind. Root into your right fingertips, into the floor behind you. Roll that right shoulder open. And then, root down into both sits bones. So feel into your foundation. Begin to bend your left elbow forward slightly. Again, opening up that space between the scapulas. And then allow your gaze to flow right over your right shoulder. Stay for a couple more breaths. And then inhale.
Inhale, both arms up. Look, I've already made a mistake. Exhale your hands to your heart. <laughs> I promise to be human. Set your left hand back on your right knee, right hand behind, root down, twist, and then reach that right arm up and over. Look down at your left knee for a moment, and then listen to the neck as you maybe look up at the right arm. This is a great way to decide what's better for the neck. So you can feel into it and just notice. When you look up, you can maybe roll that right scapula open a little farther, drop the left shoulder a little more. Maybe not, you see, you do you. And on your next exhalation, we'll rise up, one hand to each knee, belly button towards spine, chin toward chest. Press into the hands, lift the heart, look up. And exhale to neutral. From here, we'll reach the arms up. Right hand to the floor, left hand up and over. Press into the right hand, side stretch. And now we're gonna press into the right hand, lift up. Bring your fingertips of your left hand to the top of your right ear. Now we're not pulling downward, be so careful with you. We're gently pulling upward toward the elbow. Reach the right arm out at shoulder height. Let your right fingers be open wide. Pause here so we're not forcing anything. Just gently stretching, noticing any tension that can be released here in the side of the neck. You can see that tension lead right out through the right fingertips. Spread them wide, release. Any tension there. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Remember your intention. Inhale, arms up. Left hand to the ground, right hand up and over. And then decide which way you're gonna look, left, down or up, right? Opening up the right side ribs, then we'll press into the left hand, rising up, right fingertips to the top of the left ear. Broad from your right elbow to your left fingertips, spread them wide. And smooth breath flowing in, no forcing, so gentle. And then the longer we stay here, the more that can be released, right? So reach out through those left fingertips. Let any tension in the side of the neck, top of the shoulder, just leave through those left fingertips. Just visualize. And then inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. From here, I'm going to reach over my right knee and come into table pose. So hands are rooted right beneath shoulders, knees are right beneath hips. I like my hands just a little bit wider than shoulders. And then exhale your belly button towards your spine and cat. Inhale, slide your hands forward, drop your head to the floor, extended puppy pose, tail is high, root into the hands. And then exhale, slide the hands back up into cat. Inhale, turn the toes under, down dog. Exhale, knees back to the ground, cat. Inhale, slide the hands forward, extended puppy pose. When you're ready, exhale, slide up into cat. And on your inhale, down dog. Next inhalation. Root down more into the hands, sink the heels a little bit more, and then as you're ready to exhale, draw the belly button toward the spine and come into cat pose. Inhale, slide your hands forward, extended puppy pose, stretch out through the fingertips. Inhale, cat. And exhale, down dog. When you're ready, inhale, root down, and then exhale, cat pose. And inhale into extended puppy. Pause here for a moment, root down in the hands. Next exhalation, cat pose. Inhale, down dog. When you're ready, 
Draw the knees back to the ground. We'll step our right foot up between our hands. Slide your left knee back a little bit for a lunge. You can tuck your torso right to your thigh for a moment. Press down into the fingertips. Pull the heart forward through the gateway of the shoulders. Getting more stretch in the front of this left thigh. Rolling the shoulders back. And on your next exhalation, maybe tuck the left toes under. Lift the left knee off the ground. Coming into a nice deep lunge, we'll inhale, rise up in crescent pose. Feel free to soften that back knee to take some pressure off the low back. On your next exhalation, we'll sweep the hands back to the ground, left knee comes down. We'll step the right knee back into table pose. Lengthen from the tail through the crown. We'll step our left foot up between our hands. Slide the right knee back. Nice deep lunge. And then root down into the hands. Push the floor forward. Draw the heart forward. Look forward. Nice deep lunge. Ringing out the left hip. Stretching out the front of the right thigh. And then on your next exhalation, we'll tuck the right toes, lift the right knee, and inhale, rise up in crescent. Feel free to soften that back knee if you need to, or keep the leg straight. One more breath. Sweep the hands back to the ground, right knee back to the ground. Step back into table pose. So from your table pose, let's square off once more. Lift your right leg out behind you. So straight out behind you. And then your left hand out in front. It can be a lot the first time you come into this spinal extension. So easy does it. Lifting right leg, left arm. Head is in line with spine, it's easy to drop it, but keep it up in line with spine. And root into the right hand. Stay for another breath. Exhale, left hand down, right knee down. One cat pose, exhale, belly button towards spine. And inhale, soften the belly toward the earth, cow pose, lift head and tail. On your exhalation, come to neutral. Left leg lifts out behind you, right arm out in front. Head in line with spine. You can see there at the beginning my chin was coming way forward. You want to tuck the chin in to keep all the energy of the spine flowing up and down. Exhale, right hand down, left knee down. Rock your weight a little side to side in both knees. Now left hand lifts, right leg lifts. Exhale, round the spine, elbow in, knee in. Inhale, open, lengthen. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Lengthen and fold it. One more. And then we'll plant our hands and knees. Big toes together, knees apart, sink back into child's pose. Rest your forehead on the floor, let your arms go. So child's pose is a place where you can come anytime during practice that you feel um, you've gotten out of sync with your breath or you're overwhelmed in any way. You can kind of gather yourself here. So sinking down. <sighs> Breathe into your upper back, expand. And then exhale and come back up into table. Now our left leg extends, right arm extends. So find your balance, and then exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale in, round. Inhale.
inhale, lengthen. And continue with breath. One more. Excellent. Hands and knees to the ground. From here, we'll turn our toes under, shift your hands about three or four inches forward, and then rise up into down dog. Releasing the weight of the head. Press down into both hands. And easy does it, bend your right knee. Sink the left heel deeply. Push the floor forward with the hands to press your torso back toward your thighs. And then inhale up high onto the tiptoes. Exhale, sink both heels. Bend the left knee. Inhale up high onto the tiptoes. Exhale, sink both heels. On your next inhalation, right leg floats up into the sky. Bend the knee and stack the hip. Releasing the weight of the head, rooted into the hands. And then on your inhalation, straighten the right leg. Sweep the right foot up between the hands. Left heel comes to the ground. We'll wind open into warrior two. So gaze over those right fingertips, broad across the collarbones. Sink toward the 90 degree angle in the front knee. And you can still see your big toe on the inside of this front knee. So your thigh and the knee are pointing toward the center of the foot. Arms are parallel to the earth and gazes over the right fingertips. Find your edge. One more breath. On your exhalation, straighten your right knee, turn your toes toward the long edge of the mat, bring your hands behind the back. Clasp the hands behind the back like you're holding a big bowling ball on the hands, lean back, lengthen the front body, roll the scapulas together, and then exhale, fold. Let the hands float up toward the ceiling, release the weight of the head toward the ground. One more breath. Release the hands, plant them on the ground, and from here, bend your right elbow, or hold on to your knee if you need to. You can, if your hand doesn't reach to the floor, you can use a block, right? So your fold isn't as deep, that's okay. Whatever works for you. So from here, if your hand is on, right hand's on a block or on the floor, that's fine. We're going to reach our left hand over to our right leg. Let your head hang. Let's get this opening in the left scapula and shoulder. So if you're higher, it's just going to look a little different, and that's perfectly fine. You do you. One more breath. Left hand back to the ground. Release the weight of the head. Plant your hands and then push the floor forward a little bit with the hands. Walk the hands forward under the shoulders. And we'll sink down once more. Left hand plants with a bent elbow. We'll bring the right hand to the outside of the left leg right hand to the outside of the left leg somewhere, and release the weight of the head.
hands back to the ground, lift halfway, and we'll walk our hands back around the right foot. Step your right foot back to plank pose, and again, knee down plank is always an option. So if you're feeling tired, knees down is an option. Also, you can use fists for wrists if your wrists are getting tired. No worries. So from here, lift your knees. If you're in down or if you're in knee down plank, you want to explore that. Check it out. See how that feels. Keep head in line with spine or knees lifted. From here, we're going to shift forward on our toes. Elbows draw back toward the waist as you lower all the way to the earth. Uncurl the toes. Walk your hands out a little bit, and we're going to come into little cobra pose. So press into the feet tops of the feet a little bit, press into the hands, lift up, elbows can stay bent, heart is lifted, exhale, lower down, inhale, lift up, exhale, right shoulder comes forward, look to the left, inhale, look up, exhale, left shoulder comes forward, look to the right, Inhale, press down. Exhale, lower. Hands next to the chest. Press yourself up into plank pose, maybe, or straight back to down dog. From your downward facing dog, play with dropping your heels over to the right. Still pressing your torso back towards your thighs. And then inhale up onto the toes, heels over to the left. And then inhale up onto the toes, sink the heels. Be sure to let go of all the weight of the head. If you're having a hard time hearing, it's often a habit to lift the head. And then we're just dumping tension right into the back of the neck. So we want to be careful to let go of the weight of the head. On your next exhale, left leg in the sky, bend the knee and stack the hip. Root down into the hands, push your torso back towards your standing thigh. Straighten the leg, sweep the left foot up between the hands, right heel to the ground, spin open into warrior two. And remember, we want to check in with that front big toe so we make sure we can still see the big toe on the inside of the knee. So, scapulas sink down the back. Arms are parallel to the earth. And we find our edge. One more breath. On your inhalation, straighten the front leg, turn the toes toward the long edge of the mat, wrap the hands around behind once more, sink the knuckles down, lean back, and fold. <laughs> Hello. Release the weight of the head toward the earth, letting go of all the way to the shoulders. And then on your inhalation, release the hands to the ground. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Walk your hands back around the left foot, and we'll step back to plank. Breathe into your plank pose, establishing the breath inside of the pose, keeping the head in line with spine. It's easy to drop it here, right? So keep it in line with the spine. And then shift forward on the toes. Elbows draw back toward the waist. Inhale this time, heart draws forward, upward dog. Roll through toes, downward dog. From here, look up between your hands, step, hop, or float up to standing forward bend, releasing all the weight of the head, releasing all the weight of the arms. Bend the knees, chair. Lift the 
toes, spread them wide. Exhale, press the air away, float hands to heart center, thumbs touch the sternum. You can stay right where you are because you're probably able to see me, so I'm gonna turn so you can see. We're gonna sit down in chair once more. Lift your right foot, your heel off the ground, step it across the left. You can stay right here, this is perfect. Float your hands to your heart. You can play with the idea of wrapping the, whoop, <laughs> wrapping the right ankle around the left ankle. Play with that, maybe it's not accessible, maybe it is. And just eagle legs, so sit down deep, and then <laughs> when you're ready, golly day, there we go. When you're ready, unwind, sitting down in chair pose, reaching up. Then press the air away, float hands back to heart center, thumbs to sternum. So balance is an interesting thing. It's different all the time, no matter where you are. It's different every time you try it on both sides of the body. So just always be compassionate with you, always be gentle with you. Remember you're human, it's always changing. So when you're ready, we'll sweep our fingertips along the ground once more, chair. Lift your toes to root down in the feet. Exhale, hands to heart. And then we'll come onto the ball of the left foot. Step the left foot across the right so the knees are crossed. You can stay right here. This is perfect place to practice eagle pose. If there's space to do it, tuck the ankle around the back. Eagle legs, sit down deep. Stay inside the breath. always want to have a focal point of something that's not moving. So set your gaze there inside of every balance pose. And then when you're ready, we'll unwind, reach the arms up in chair, and exhale forward fold. Release the elbows, actually holding the elbows, tuck your fingers right inside, and let go of the weight of the head. Bend the knees once more, sweep up into chair. And then we'll uh, sweep the arms out to the sides in a big circle, thumbs come to the heart center, stand tall. Take a deep breath in. Now on your next exhalation, we'll reach the arms down to go up, take a big swan dive, standing forward bend and step back to plank. From your plank pose, lower halfway, inhaling upward dog, exhaling downward dog. Let go of the weight of the head again. Press your torso back towards your thighs. If you wanna deepen your down dog, bend your knees a lot, push the floor forward with the arms, and then straighten the legs. When you're ready, right leg in the sky, bend the knee and stack the hip. Sink the left heel. Straighten the right leg, sweep the right foot up between the hands. Pause at the top of the lunge, lengthen from the back heel through the crown. And on your next exhalation, Build a little bit of heat. Let's rise up into crescent. And from your crescent pose, bend your left knee to tap. Inhale to rise. Exhale. Add the arms when you're ready. Exhale, hands drop. Inhale, arms drop. rising up and from here let's begin to straighten the front leg sweep the hands toward the ground or to the ground you can also just keep the hands on the thigh wherever they feel just right to you if you have some blocks that's great as well so this is a wider than normal version of pyramid for a big stretch in the legs again a releasing in the spine 
one more breath. Plant the hands, step back to plank pose. Raise the tail, downward dog. One more breath. Left leg in the sky. Bend the knee and stack the hip. Sink the right heel. Straighten the left leg. Draw the left foot up between the hands. And root down in your lunge. Root into both feet, rise up in crescent pose. So inside of your crescent pose, sorry, wardrobe malfunctions, reach up and exhale, right knee comes to tap, inhale, rise. So this can be just a little dip if you like, or all the way to the earth. You make it yours. Now we'll add the arms. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, continue. One more. All right, now rising up at the top of your crescent pose, begin to straighten that front leg, reach your arms forward, and sink the back heel, pouring out over the front leg. Again, hands can be resting on the thigh. It can be just a little forward fold or a big forward fold, your choice. Staying safe in the body, Safe in the breath. Now on your next exhalation, bring your right knee to the ground, step your left knee back, and we'll take a sit. We're going to move into cow face legs. You can keep your legs right here in Sukhasana if this is perfect for you. If not, we'll bring the right knee out in front, left knee on top, and we stack the knees. It can be a lot, so you decide what feels just right. So lengthen up through the crown of the head, rest your hands on your knee for just a moment. Actually, you can feel really good attached to your feet for a second with the hands. Just connecting, lengthen up, so if you're in Sukhasana, just feel into your foundation. So we're just arriving here. <sighs> now, when you're ready, we'll bring our right elbow out in front, left elbow inside right, bring your right thumb toward your nose, left hand wraps around, eagle arms. So your right elbow's on the bottom, left elbow inside, and we twist, okay? Lift the elbows to shoulder height and sit tall. Let your shoulders sink away from your jaw. Open up that space between the scapulas on the back side of the body here. Gently draw the elbows away from the heart, just gently. Draw the hands away from the face, just a little, not a lot, no forcing. One more breath. On your exhalation, unwind the arms. Bring your peace sign fingers to the floor. Plug them in. This is a mudra of grounding. So root your fingertips like you're plugging them into the earth. On your exhalation, 
We'll bring our hands back behind us. We'll do it the easy way. Just unwind, left knee down, right knee on top. Okay, so we switch. Y'all know there's another way that I love to do this though, right? It's that little monkey spin. So you would, if you want to do it, you would just walk your left hand over to the right and all the way around. Let your feet just spin around on the floor and then you wind all the way around and your legs restack. I don't know, I just like it. So either way, we're now with our left knee on the bottom, right knee on the top, or we're still in Sukhasana, that's perfect. So we sit up nice and tall, connecting to the feet for a moment. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Now our left arm comes out in front, right elbow tucks inside left, and we wrap into eagle arms. Again, left elbow on the bottom, right elbow on the top, opposite of last time. Lift the elbows to shoulder height, pull the hands away from the face, lengthen the back of the neck. So it can be easy for our chin to jump forward. You want to pull that back in just slightly to keep the head in line with the spine. Spread your fingers wide. Gently pull your elbows away from your heart, just gently, just a little, and hands away from the face, just a little. Two more breaths here. On your exhalation, unwind the arms, bring your peace sign fingertips to plug into the floor. Sit tall, maybe close your eyes for a moment. Feeling grounded, feeling plugged in. Plugged into the earth. Plugged into the breath. Plugged into the body. On your next exhalation, unwind the legs. We lean back, unwind the legs, and we'll come to table pose. <clears throat> One cat cow, belly button towards spine, round chin toward chest. Inhale, soften the belly toward the earth, lift head and tail, and then we're going to turn our toes under, down dog. Sink the heels down. <clears throat> and we're going to turn, actually step both your feet forward toward the front edge of the mat so that you're facing this direction. And as you are ready, we'll hold the elbows for a breath in, forward fold, just holding the elbows, releasing any tension, and feet are directly under the hips, we'll sweep the fingertips along the ground, find our chair pose, reaching up through the fingertips, sitting down, rooting down, grounding down, press the air away, rise up into mountain, hands float to heart, checking in with our intention. one time. Breathe in your intention now that you've had some chance to set it. Breathe it in as if it's already complete, it's already come to fruition. You know, if, you, if your intention is peace, that you embody peace. If your intention is flexibility, that you embody flexibility. Just breathe it in, imagining that, that state. And then breathe it out into the world. Inhale, gather in all those intentions of all those practicing with us. Exhale, your thumbs back to your heart. Inhale, open. Breathing your intention out into the world, sharing it out. And exhale, draw the good intentions back into your heart. One more time. Inhale, open. And exhale. Sweep fingertips along the ground chair. 
So we'll sweep our hands down to our heart once more. You can bring your hands to your thighs if that feels better to you. Shift your weight into your left foot. Step that right foot across once more. Toe can absolutely stay on the ground. If you're ready for more, wrap that ankle. So once you get here, send your right forearm out in front with the forearm, left forearm inside, wrap, and lift the elbows to shoulder height, eagle pose. Sit down deep inside of eagle pose. One more breath. Now you can stay here or you can begin to bring the elbows to the fronts of the knees, coming into a fold, maybe. Maybe not. Just explore what's here for you. On your exhalation, draw your belly button towards your spine and rise back up into eagle. And then when you're ready, unwind, unwind, and bring the hands back to the heart. Breathe in your intention. Breathe it out into the world. Float hands back to heart. You can pedal out any tension in the legs. Sweep the fingertips along the ground once more, rising up into chair pose. Sit down deep. Shift your weight into your right foot, lifting up into the ball of the left. Step the left across. Wrap if you like. Now, left arm comes out in front, right elbow inside, eagle, sitting down, find your edge. Root into the standing foot. One more breath. Stay here if you like, or play with the fold. Let it be playful. If you fall out, it's not the end of the world. Just unwind your feet and catch yourself. No big deal. Folding in if you like. Elbows to knees. Rounding. And on your next exhalation, tuck your belly button towards your spine, rising up. Inhale, unwind the legs. Ah, it feels good. Exhale, unwind the arms. Float hands to heart. Coming into the home stretch. From where you stand, step, actually reach the arms down to go up. We'll take a big swan dive. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the back. Exhale, fold it. Inhale, hands come to the ground. Exhale, step back into plank pose. From your plank pose, lower half. Inhaling, upward dog. Exhaling, downward dog. <sighs> Stretch it out. And on your exhalation, Knees come to the ground, sink your hands forward, forehead to the ground into extended puppy pose. On your exhalation, come up into cat. Inhale to down dog. Exhale, knees to the ground, cat. Inhale, extended puppy. Exhale, slide the hands up, coming back up into cat. And inhale to down dog. Just one more time. Exhale, cat. Inhale, extended puppy. You can look forward if you like or keep the forehead on the ground. And then rise up into cat. And down dog. From your downward facing dog, draw the knees to the ground. Cross the ankles over and roll through. Come to your back. As we lie down on our backs, let's bring our right knee over our left, and easy does it. 
Wrap the ankle if you like, and we'll draw the knees over to the left. Arms can be out in a capital T. They can be like cactus arms. You decide what feels just right to your arms. Attempt to sink this right shoulder, no forcing. Just invite that right shoulder to sink. Breathe into the twist. Stay with it for a few breaths. And roll back onto that foot. Unwind the legs. Left knee over right. Wrap all the way if you like, or just the knee over the top. That's fine too. Then drop the knees over to the right. Turn and look the opposite direction if you like. Your choice. Break down into the belly. And then, when you're ready, roll back onto the right foot. Unwind the legs. Heel and toe your feet apart, let your knees drop together, place one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, and then let your elbows sink to the ground on either side. Smooth breath, still flowing in and out, in and out. So as your knees drop together, we release the psoas, you can release any tension in the low back, and on your exhalation. If you're feeling comfortable here, you can send your legs out along the ground. Let the feet drop open and feel the flow of the breath beneath your hands. Just be with the breath. Inhale, filling. Exhale, emptying. Scanning the body from the top of the head. Staying in your Shavasana. Soften the face now. Relax the jaw. Any tensions in the throat. Just let go of the neck and the shoulders. Soften the arms, hands, and all ten fingers. Continuing to breathe a smooth, long breath in and out through the nose. Relax the chest and the shoulders. Soften the solar plexus and the mid-back. Relax the belly and the low back. See if you can let go deeper as you release the hips, the legs, the feet, and all ten toes. Surrender completely. Resting the body here in Shavasana. If thoughts come, just let them go by like clouds in the sky. Surrendering deeper and deeper. And then gently begin to invite a smooth, long, deep breath through the nose to fill the whole body. Bend your knees, place the feet on the floor again. Roll to one side. And pause for a moment to practice gratitude. Just inviting yourself to bring to mind something that you're grateful for. And appreciate that one thing deeply.
gently, staying in that deep place of gratitude and with eyes closed, press into your top hand and rise up to a comfortable seated position. Facing this direction, we'll draw our chin toward our chest, ease the eyes open, inhale our arms and gaze up, exhale hands to heart. So for our purposes, namaste means the divine in me bows to the divine in you. So take a moment to recognize the divine dwelling in yourself. And then we'll recognize it in each other across cyberspace as we bow and say namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. It's so good to be with you even in this way. So if you have any comments, suggestions, requests, please place them in the comments. This video will be here and it will also be over on YouTube soon. So um, if you want to rewatch it, it'll be there. But again, I would love your suggestions, love your requests, love to hear from you all the way around in this um, time of quarantine, and there's so many words, um, this time of alone with yourself, right? So I'd love to hear from you in any way. So you know how to reach me. Thanks so much. Have a great day.